Hey guys, Javier here with the Real Javier Novoa channel, a platform and a modality where we apply the principles of interiorism and just good common business sense to rapid lifestyle transformation. And I finally had to make a video about this eclipse coming up on the 8th. And granted, I am a person who is pretty ignorant on astronomy and astrology. I know a little bit. But it's not something that has really come into my purview. And granted to say that I am not a believer for sure in astrology. Because astrology, of course, it will be real if you make it real. We make the rules, as Seth said. So if you apply that to yourself, then it will apply to you. It's the famous story of Neville Goddard talks about when someone who studied astrology who was associated with Neville talked about the fact that one day she read someone's forecast from a book and it came true but then she realized that she had left the window open and the wind had blown a page of her book to the wrong page so basically she gave the forecast of someone who was a different astrological sign or something like this and it still applied and that of course made her lose faith in that as well it should because all of these modalities have no effect upon you because you have all the power yet there are certain what joel goldsmith called social mesmerisms or social hypnosis that will apply to the world at large because the majority of people believe that with that caveat i just want to go into what a few friends of mine have been saying a lot of friends of mine and a lot of people who are very knowledgeable in economics, very knowledgeable in cycles, and very knowledgeable in preparedness and so on and so forth, have been warning about this eclipse. And you can go online and look at people who are warning about this. There are some people who think this is the end of the world. It could be the second coming, the three days of darkness. I don't think it could be. And of course, all religions say that whoever predicts a date for the end of the world, that is not it because only the Father knows. And I believe that. And again, interiorism teaches that nothing's going to happen outside of you. Even the biblical scripture states that the kingdom of heaven is not going to be a, a thing where people say, oh, look, it is coming here and there. That has been the downfall of cult leaders and messianic individuals for centuries. The kingdom of heaven is within, and all apocalyptic scriptural references are really speaking about what's happening within. But I do believe they, they pertain to cycles which are going on in the outer. Of course, what gives veracity to those cycles? It's the common mesmerism. But as we teach in interiorism and voluntarism and so on, it's not our job to go and change the cycle to go and change the mesmerism. Of course we can do that if we were to apply our focus and power, if we were to all get together and pray and meditate and so forth. This has been shown in the Peace Project that I believe Greg Braden and others were involved with in the 80s during the Israeli-Lebanese conflict where they would get together and meditate and that day they had an effect upon the outcomes of the war and so on and so forth. The problem is when they stopped meditating, the stuff would go back to normal Again, we could do that, but it's a lot harder, and for the purposes of interiorism, it seems to me like exterior focus. Rather, it's a lot easier to just focus on ourselves, focus on our own objectives and desires, and then whatever we have to face on this film roll, simply roll with the punches and ebb and flow according to the way that stream is going. I hope you understand me just a little bit. It's in that spirit that I'm just making this short video which is kind of a warning, guys. We've, we've been hearing warnings from a lot of individuals um, about this eclipse. In fact, on Tuesday, I'm having another interview with a man who is very prominent in business and very prominent in spiritual circles. We're going to see what he thinks. But here's my outlook on this. It does seem that this eclipse is signaling some sort of cosmic transition that we're going through. I do not think it's going to be the end of the world. I don't think you have to worry about that. There are things that you do have to worry about. Not have to worry about, excuse me. I could put it better. There are a few things that you ought to prepare for just for ease of functioning. 
But this is not going to be one of those uh, crazy apocalyptic events. I don't think, although there's some uh, theorists out there that do. But some of the things that we're actually needing to prepare for. See, especially if you're living in Texas, where I am, or in Oklahoma. And many states where this eclipse is going to be happening, I think it's going to be following a trajectory from Texas up to the northeast, where it's going to be a total eclipse. And especially Texas and Oklahoma, people are coming as we speak, as tourists, to come and witness this spectacular event. It's going to be a spectacular event. It's going to be minutes of complete darkness where the moon is in the trajectory of the sun and blocking that out for a few minutes. It's going to be a full eclipse. And this kind of eclipse, I believe, only happens very rarely. That being said, I would recommend that if you can take off work that day, take off work. Don't really go outside. If you want to go somewhere near your house and see the eclipse, that would be a great thing. But state governments are warning there's going to be more accidents than usual just because of the sheer volume of traffic. There's going to be more car accidents. Try to avoid being on the roads that day. Just take common sense precautions. That's what I'm going to be doing, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be taking common sense precautions. Another thing that even governments have been warning about, guys, the, I believe the Oklahoma state government prominently has been telling their citizens to prepare food storage at least for a few days in the days coming up to and in the days after the eclipse. Guys, I'd recommend that. In fact, this is a perfect time to start your food storage. We're going to be talking more about food storage on this channel. It's a very provident action to take, and it's going to give you peace of mind. You can start out with a three-day food storage, guys. Have enough food in your house for three days. Figure out ways to cook if the electricity goes off. Have plans for just a very temporary interruption in electricity. That can't hurt. Even if none of this happens, it's likely that none of this will happen, guys. This is just a precaution to make you feel better. Can't hurt to have that extra food on uh, on hand, and it'll help to get prepared. And a lot of videos coming up, we're going to be talking about preparedness, guys. So prepare a few days of food. Try not to go out that day, guys, and enjoy it from your house. And I'd recommend just sit cool and sit tight because, again, these events where a lot of people are going to be pouring in, it's always better to just sort of sit tight. Study, guys. Meditate. Remember who you are. These eclipses are great opportunities to remember that there's only one, to remember there's only one power, and to sort of realize how insignificant this prison grid is. Those are just a few of the warnings and the sort of practical advices that I wanted to pass on to you for this eclipse. It may be the beginning of a new cycle, and this cycle is going to include some economic hardships for some people who aren't prepared, but for those of us who are prepared for it, and for those of us who follow the tenets of interiorism, we're going to be able to benefit from it, guys, because we're going to be able to buy while everyone else is panicking. We'll have a chance to build some generational wealth. There's going to be a great wealth transfer, and whether or not this is the actual beginning of it, this eclipse, and the time in which it's coming is a great time to reflect upon all that. So just precautions, guys. Take precautions for it. I don't think it's going to be a huge deal. Do not miss that interview on Tuesday where I'm going to be interviewing a great man of business and of spirituality. We're going to get his take on it. We're going to talk more about this eclipse. So if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the videos, and I am doing coaching calls. As always, that's a modality that's taking off. I will consult you and guide you through a practical application of interiorism to get free, to live free, because this is all about living free, guys. So until very soon, have a wonderful start of your week. This is Javier with The Real Javier Novoa. Ciao.